Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode. I am still working on the stuff in the garage. Uh, last episode, we went through um, some boxes and found some neat things. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the, the story around here. <laughs> Open up boxes and find cool stuff. But uh, today, I have, uh, I think we're actually gonna get to some of these suitcases. These were sealed, uh, they were packed away in the closet of the house. Uh, nobody could get in the closet because the doors were jammed. Well, I guess I, I, I shouldn't say, <laughs> I shouldn't say that nobody could get in because I was determined. I moved a bunch of stuff out of the way. I repaired, kind of uh, jimmied the sliders back on the closet door and was able to get it open. Uh, the suitcases all felt really heavy and I thought how fun would that be to go through this and knowing that she was a doll collector. Um, I think that we're going to find some interesting stuff. So we're going to go through some of these uh, suitcases, mystery cases here today, and um, see what's inside. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Let's get to it. Well, I guess the, the first thing I'll do is I'll open up this box because it's already pretty much open. That to me looks like a uh, little red riding hood in there with her little shoes and her cloak. And what does it say? It says 1953 German, 10 and a half inch. But I would say that's a little red riding hood inspired at least anyway. A little doll, she's got an extra outfit in there too. Okay, well enough of going through this box. Let's get into some of these cases. I'm just gonna set this on the table off to the side so it's not in the way. So that she's not in the way. There, she can hang out there for a while. I'm gonna grab some of the suitcases and set them up on the table here. Okay, first two cases. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna go with this one because it's an older case. I actually like to keep these suitcases around for myself. Um, I put them in my old cars. I'll put polishing cloths and things like that. It keeps it nice and tidy in the trunk and it looks cool. Well, what do we have here? Some paperwork. Oh, some patterns. Some old patterns. Simplicity patterns. These are 1940s era. I wonder if she was using them uh, to scale down and to make doll clothes with, or if these are just old pat patterns that she used for her own clothing. Hard to say. But there is a whole little bundle of 1940s patterns. Chatelaine patterns. Looks like sort of a hot plate. It's like a Harlequin romance type book. Yep. The breathtaking story of the world's most romantic star. Oh, it's, a, it's just a biography about Vivian Lee. Not bad. Well, maybe it reads like a Harlequin romance. Who knows? Index cards with some information on them. Oh, that's about Vivian Lee. Oh, there's a doll. There is indeed a doll here. Okay, one doll. And what's interesting about her, well, it looks like somebody's made a fancy little outfit for her. What does it say on it? 1948, 17 inch, made in Canada, reliable. But she doesn't have shoes, someone's tied nylons around her feet. You know the stories, when I went to school, it was uphill both ways and I had nothing but rolls of toilet paper for shoes. Well, maybe not that dramatic. All sorts of little things bagged up. There's another doll in here too. But everything has some kind of little meaning to it or story. Evening doll, okay, that's an evening cape for a doll. All right, and there's another doll right there. Looks like it's similar vintage, maybe 40s. Oh, it's a piece of jewelry. A little cameo keepsake sort of brooch, a little locket. Probably was gonna be used as a, 
decoration on one of these dolls. Camera case. There's no camera. There's a little Burks box with Country Club perfume, some little pearls, and something wrapped up in plastic here. Looks like little jewelry boxes. And what does that say? Rhinestone buckle from the 1950s. Hmm, let's see what's in there. Pendants. A couple of uh, antique little pendants. Maybe a piece of cut amethyst and maybe amber and silver. I'll set those over there so they don't get mixed up with all the doll stuff. And do we have anything in here? There's a little note. Hmm. A little clipping of a letter and a note attached to it. And lots of keepsake notes. Again, styling cues for how they wanted to dress the doll up. Oh, neat. Okay, on to the next case. How does this one open? Oh, there we go. That was, oh, I thought that was a Barbie for a second, but nope. Alexander, Madam Alexander. It looks like she's got accessories and gowns and dresses. Lots of accessories, little jewelry, tiny little purses. Even a little TV guide in there. So this looks like to be everything to completely outfit this little doll. Overalls and shirt. A whole bunch of extra fabric and patterns and stuff. See the tiny little TV guide? <laughs> it looks like some lady's doing the can-can on the cover. Okay, so it looks to be, it's labeled as an Alexander, which could be M Madame Alexander. I'm not sure. Okay, well, she's going to need to be dressed up. On closer inspection, on doing a little bit of research about why there's some Vivian Lee stuff in there, Vivian Lee played Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. And this is the Gone with the Wind doll from the 1940s. Uh, it's made by the Alexander Doll Company, not the Madame Alexander Doll Company. She's got some elastic in her hair and she's missing her gown. But that is um, in decent condition. It'd be worth about $400 if she's got her dress and everything. So I kind of best keep looking to see if I can find the rest of it. But that is a uh, nice and rare little doll, that is. And I'll put all of her paperwork and stuff back in there so we know what goes with her. But yeah, that's a nineteen mid nineteen forties Alexander Doll Company Scarlett O'Hara, as depicted by Vivian Lee. So there we go. Into another nineteen fifties suitcase here. I'm gonna get my doll education here before long. On all this, that is a thing on dolls by Madame Alexander. That's the thing, I guess. I didn't realize there was an Alexander Doll Company and a Madame Alexander Doll Company. Two very different things. That looks like a fancy dress, like a 1950s sort of dress. I don't know if it's for a doll. Oh yeah, that's tiny. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe that's for an actual person because it looks so big. What on earth? That is like the fanciest little dress ever. I don't think she goes with, I don't think that's her dress. Although it's kind of about the right size. Oh, I'll keep that out just in case that is the... Uh, oh, look, there's crinoline. You know, really puff it up. That might be the dress that's meant for her. I'm surprised there's no... Everything else has had like a little tag telling me what it's for. Okay, there's pictures of the queen. It seems like... Oh, I see. Is that Queen Elizabeth's dress? Oh... Queen Elizabeth in 1945, wartime 47 with Philip's arm. So that's a little replica of Queen Elizabeth's dress. So then is that, I don't see a Queen Elizabeth in here though. But there's a little Queen Elizabeth dress in here. 
Alexander Sissy as Queen Elizabeth II from 1960. Okay. So is that what this is? Is that what she's supposed to be? Alexander Sissy doll. So I guess they just had her dressed up as Queen Elizabeth. So that's her outfit that goes with her. But she doesn't really look like the Queen. The Vivian Lee doll looks more like a young Queen Elizabeth than this one. But I guess that is the outfit that goes with her. So this is a, ro a box of royal doll regalia. Queen Elizabeth uh, the second dress. And we've got all these accessories and purses. Oh, fancy little shoes. I think everything in here to make this. Oh, there's a doll stand for her. Liberty of London Woolen Paisley Fabric. It's a jewelry box. I think what we're going to find is that if there is jewelry in here, it's probably jewelry that was intended for the, the doll. Sterling silver with crystal. Hmm. Well, there is jewelry in there. But I have a feeling these were all things that she was going to dress the doll up with, like real jewelry, as though it's a real person. Pretty, pretty nifty, but she's not all decked out in her duds yet. So I'll see if maybe Melissa can help me do a little redecorating on some of these things. As I'm going through and sorting, uh, we got this doll all dressed back up the way she's meant to be. And we can see and of course she's even labeled 1959, Madame Alexander, Sherry Lewis doll, who is a ventriloquist and a children's performer. Lamb chops. So that is a Sherry Lewis doll with her original dress and her shoes and her little purse. There's even a little credit card in there, all of her accessories that would have come with her from brand new, including other sorts of little things. You can see like some lamb chops kind of accessories and stuff. So this is a very complete, it looks like the whole set of the this whole Sherry Lewis set was packed away in this trunk and she was put away with her clothes in separate little bags, probably to keep them safe. But uh, we've got her dressed back up again, just as she should be. So that's uh, what a neat little piece of TV history and uh, nice that she's all there too. I noticed something about our little Red Riding Hood doll here, and that was in the bag with the extra clothes, there was this little tag. I don't know if you can see it, it says MJ Hummel, an original Hummel. And Hummel, of course, being a lot more collectible than a lot of average dolls. And if you look at the back, it says Hummel right on the back of the head too. So W. Goebel, German-made Hummel doll with the extra outfit and the original hang tag. Well, that is a lot more interesting than what I thought it was. Um, there's all sorts of other things here too. Little accessories, I guess, that they were using to decorate the dollhouses with. I don't know what that is. It looks like a little old fashioned kind of looking scale in there. Tiny little metal Volkswagen Beetle. And I've been going through these little bins and boxes. Look at this, I found this uh, antique moving truck. Well, I shouldn't say antique. It's probably from the 1940s, but it has little Audrey decals on it. And just, uh, it's a Rawls toy made in Nebraska in absolutely just perfect condition. That's probably close to 164 scale because uh, 164 scale semi would be quite a bit bigger than a little Hot Wheel car, but that's about right. True 164, there's a tiny little roll top desk. Another little itsy bitsy roll top wooden desk. And we've got a couple, for whatever reason, uh, 1980s Buddy L toys. And look, that's a Plymouth Voyager van. When uh, Chrysler was going out of business, or Chrysler, I always say it. I say it the way I say it. People, <coughs> other people say it differently. But um, that van, the real version, saved the Chrysler Corporation, Chrysler Corporation, from going out of business. So kind of a neat little thing to have. Little minivan and a school bus still in their original packaging. All sorts of wonderful little accessories, sewing machines and stuff for dollhouses. Lots of neat stuff to go through. Okay, I've got more trunks. 
Actually, a lot of these look like they're matching sets. So we'll open up this one first. Not surprised to find more dolls in here, but we've got a nice little set. She's got her polka dot apron on, and that is a Madame Alexander, 1960. With her hair back and everything. Nice little set there. It's another more of a 1950s set, all wrapped up in plastic. We've got extra clothes. Oh, look, those are the original boxes. Those are the Madame Alexander boxes that these came in. These are the smaller scale dolls. So that is Louisa doll. See, the Alexander Doll Company. Oh, I guess maybe Alexander Doll Company and Madame Alexander were the same. Shows what I know. I mean, I know that it was slightly more collectible and, you know, I'm still learning. Bear with me. <laughs> but it's nice that these have their boxes. Another one there. Lady in Red. 130 bucks originally, marked down to 45 Well, and that's what it is. Lady in red doll with her papers and everything all there. Very nice. A couple pair of slightly other newer dolls maybe. Clothing and accessories. Okay, well that, that was what was in the, these boxes. But let's see. Whose guitar? That was her little guitar. Oh, this has been shuffled around a bit. Could have been by me hauling it. Looks like more of a 1940s or 50s sort of doll right there. Little boxes. A random rooster. Oh, I see. This is like sort of a little farm girl set. She's got uh, country outfits, country little hats. She's got her bonnet and her little checkered dress. So I, I sense a theme here, or maybe it's a picnic set because it was a little tiny picnic basket. This is a going to the country kind of theme happening right here. I don't know why there's a random rooster. The feeling these are meant to be displayed very particularly and these suitcases represent the entire display that was meant to be held together at one point. So I guess the, these little Madame Alexander dolls are worth like, you know, 30 to $40 each or something like that, maybe a little bit more because of all the accessories that are with them. But the bigger Madame Alexander doll, like this one is called a Maggie Mix-Up. She's in really great shape and she has every accessory known to mankind. So this is worth probably more like $250 to $350. So, important for me to make sure to keep this all together as uh, somebody who wants this doll is gonna want it in as good condition as it is with all the accessories to go with it. The other dolls being that they're not um, gonna be too, too expensive, I'll probably just go off to auction just as they are. On to some more trunks, and what do we have here? Well, there's a record in there from My Fair Lady. And it seems to me that she usually tried to group things together that had something to do with each other. So we've got some dolls, a little 